lamps in 2020? Why in the world would I try to talk people into having oil lamps in the year 2020? I hope you stay tuned to find out because I have a lot to share with you. Everything you need to know about oil lamps. Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a lot about oil lamps and why oil lamps are so special. It's going to be the year of 2020. Why would I want to tell you guys about oil lamps? And why has oil lamps been so effective in my life? There are so many kinds of oil lamps that you can find at the thrift store. Even on Walmart.com, you can find oil lamps for $12, glass ones that look antique. But why do I like oil lamps so much? This one here, I got free all along the road in a box full of other oil lamps, which I had a video on. Oil lamps can give you such a beautiful life. And I'm going to share with you how you maintain an oil lamp, what you use in your oil lamp, and everything about oil lamps. For me, I started using oil lamps about 10 years ago just to help create a more peaceful environment in my life. I love this look of oil lamps. I love the glow. It gave me peace and comfort. But not only does it give you peace and comfort, oil lamps also generate heat and generate heat in your home, which helps heat your home. There are kerosene that you can use. There is lamp oil. But what I like to use is called clean heat. That has a odorless, smell to it and it produces a lot more heat than what regular oil lamp would. So let's get talking a little more about oil lamps. In the olden days, they would use kerosene like this. It had a red tint to it. It would produce a lot of smoke and a lot of stinky smell. A lot of people got headaches from it, and oil lamps was something they really didn't like having, but they had no other choice. In the days before electricity, oil lamps was what you needed. That's what you had to see. But through the years, we can get some kerosene that's really refined, no longer has that color, and no longer has that stinky smell, but it has that warm heat. Oh, it just feels so warm. As you all know, I live in a mobile home that is from 1963. Basically, I live in a tin can. As you know, these walls are very thin and I don't have much insulation. But, but with the oil lamp and I put them near my windows, it really helps keep the dampness away. So, one thing about oil lamps, if you have a lot of pets or if you have pets and you have children, oil lamps may not be the thing that you want to use. You want to use oil lamps in a place where they're not going to get knocked about because it is a flammable substance. Now oil lamps are not flammable quite like they were back in the 1800s, but yet if you knock one over, it will produce a flame. So you want to be really careful. They are more flammable than a candle, but if you have a home that's quiet and you don't have children or you don't have a lot of animals or animals running around, oil lamps are a beautiful thing to have on your home on your homestead. Oil lamps I think are safer than a candle because you have the globe and you have the fire contained inside but yet it is flammable. You don't want to knock it over and you surely don't want to have animals running around your house that could easily knock it over. You have to be very cautious when using an oil lamp. You have to treat it with a lot of safety. So you don't want to have an oil lamp on and then go away. You have to always make sure that you blow your oil lamp out. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of instruction on the oil lamp and then we're going to go into the video where I share with you all the parts of the oil lamp, what you use. A lot of people ask me, well, how much does it cost to have these oil lamps? 
every morning and every evening, we have about eight of them lit, and that's what lights our whole home. Now, it's really hard to detect what, how much it costs because it all depends on how much you use it. A gallon of clean heat costs $10 at Lowe's Home Improvement Center. And so $10 will give us eight full lamps, which will run for about a month. Because we don't run them during the day when there is light, we only run them at night. So we have them lit at night. <laughs> so what you do with an oil lamp is, it's very simple. Here is your wick. You can roll it up, you can roll it down. The key to not having soot up on your walls is to make sure your oil lamps are not run really high where they're smoking out the top. So you want to keep them relatively low. You will feel the heat, it's so hot you can't even touch the part, top part of this. So you want to make sure you place your oil lamps somewhere where they're not going to be near anything flammable. How do you, how do you extinguish your oil lamp? It's very easy. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the old pioneer shows, like Little House on the Prairie. It's easy. All you do is take your hand at the top here and you just go and you blow it out. Always put your hand here at the end. That way there is no kind of ambers that will come up through. Always make sure you use these simple tools and having an oil lamp and it will bless you for many, many years to come. Face it, as the years go by, so does the stress of life. So why am I recommending oil lamps in 2020? For peace of mind. It gives you so much peace and comfort. Also, just to have something in your preps. You never know what happens if your lights go out one night. Also, it helps with heat. It does help heat your home. It will raise our temperatures anywhere between one to three degrees in the evening and one to three degrees in the morning. While they may not seem like much, what happens if some night you don't have any heat on in your home? You can just partition off your room, have some oil lamps, and your room will keep from freezing. So these are important things to have no matter where you live. It's nice to have an oil lamp. It gives a nice glow. It's something so beautiful visually to look at it. Imagine what my life would be like without oil lamps. Just the soft glow and just the natural touch to your home can really make a difference in your life. So now let's get started on how do you maintain an oil lamp and what are all the parts of an oil lamp. It is an odorless heater fuel, but if you read on the back, it's also for oil lamps. This little trick I learned many years ago on a off-grid website, and I have been using Clean Heat ever since. Clean Heat has absolutely no odor, and if you add a little essential oil, you can have a really good smelling oil lamp. First thing we want to do is we want to wash our oil lamps. That's really simple. You're going to take your globe, fill it with water, and you just shake it back and forth. And we're going to get the good hot soapy water in. And then sometimes I'll take my finger on the edge here where it has some soot. But the way I trim my wicks, then you don't have any soot. You don't have any smoke. A lot of times people will have oil lamps and they don't know how to have their wicks. And so they have a smoky mess. Once a week you should do this. Now for me this has been probably three weeks. Now we just go ahead and we're going to take the soap and we're going to wash them in warm sudsy water. A clean lamp shade is going to give you a lot more light. Alright, now I'm going to show you step two and how we fill our oil lamps all about the wicks. How do you put a wick in an oil lamp? the ABC's of running an oil lamp. Okay, so we take our globes outside and this is what your oil lantern looks like. So I'm going to show you putting one of these wicks in. Now you keep these wicks as long as you can. So what you do is you're going to keep trimming them. You see all that black? So what we do is we're going to trim that black off. And you want to do this job outside. Also, I also snip off the corners so I have a nice bright light, just like this. Now, I probably trim my wicks maybe once a month, and there you go, that one is finished. So I'm going to go ahead and trim all of these wicks. Now, look at this one. Hopefully the camera picks it up. It's so black, so we need to trim it. Use a scissors that's just for this. 
and I'm going to go ahead and trim the sides. I'm going to go ahead and trim all these and then I'll show you when we fill the lanterns up. Okay, so now we have one that fell. So I'm going to show you how we fill, how we put the wick on. So you go ahead, to the bottom of here, you just put it in the slot and you're going to turn the knob, the wheel, and that's going to pull it up. So simple, and there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and now we're going to fill them. So we're going to take our wicks and put it right near it so we don't get them mixed up. Now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to fill them. It's somewhat of a messy job, so you want to do it outside. You don't want to ever fill your lanterns in the house. And you always want to let just a little bit of air, just a little bit of space. You don't want to film the whole way to the top. All right. So that one's filled. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wipe them down, wash them off real good. And they're ready to go again for another probably month, month and a half. Now we're going to put a couple drops of essential oil in them. This one is sugar cookie. So a couple drops of the essential oil. I love putting essential oil in my oil lamps. It makes things smell so good. You would not believe it. You don't have to put that much in. Go ahead and we are going to wash the dust off of them. Once again, you're going to use a rag that is meant for oil lamps. Keep it all separate and we're just going to wipe them down. Look how shiny and pretty they're looking. We put the globes on it and we're ready to go. Yes, it's a chore, but it's something so much fun and it gives you such warmth in your home and peace of mind. I want to re-emphasize, I do want to re-say again, whatever you do when you're using kerosene and you're using cloth like this, do not ever use this for anything else. Do not wash it in your washing machine and do not put it in your dryer. Now you worked with flammable fluid, so you keep this out somewhere in your garage or somewhere where you're going to work and use it again. Don't use this for your household and make sure you don't put it in your dryer. Set it out with all of your cleaning stuff out in your garage.
Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a lot about oil lamps and why oil lamps are so special. Everybody, if you like videos like these, if you like the old-fashioned way of living, can you do me a favor? Can you give me a thumbs up? And also, can you share my videos? And also, can you make sure you're subscribed? Because there's a lot of more old-fashioned videos coming your way, and I sure wouldn't want you to miss them. Take care, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. Bye! Thank you.